In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the two ways you can use the custom integration of ChatGPT with Likely.ai. I mean, I was blown away, my own brother didn't even know that we'd done some of these things. So it's gonna be a quick demo of the two cool ways you can use ChatGPT inside of Likely AI. First way is you can use it with any address, any contact, anyone you've ever, any property you've ever seen, right? So you should go over to engage and then from here, you can either start a, a blank chat, which is uh, what you find kind of experienced in ChatGPT, or you can use one of our engineered prompts. Um, and so this is where we take all of the data around a property or a person, and we write that prompt and give you the full refresh effect. So let's start with uh, the buyer prompt, the buyer persona. The other ones I think you might've heard of are writing a listing email or investor email or listing description. Ours are all really cool because we use all of the data that's associated with that contact and that property. Um, but the buyer persona is the one that blew my brother away. So here's a quick demo of that. All you have to do is click on that tile and then pick an address. So I'm gonna use my folks place. Just because I like to pick on them. Now what it's doing right now is it just went and pulled all the data that's associated with this property. And then it's now writing a buyer persona who's most likely to buy that property along with um, how what settings you'd wanna use for any social media marketing um, and also uh, you know even some ad copy. So let's look at what we have. The address, you can see that it brought back like the seller, a nice visual, who owns the property, do they currently the owner, um, do they live there? Like we kind of did that ourselves because we found that it didn't work very well to other places. Other properties that they're associated with. Additional phone numbers and emails. Um, so that way there's plenty of ways to get in touch with these people. The next piece is over here and it is on the, the actual persona. So this is what it is. It breaks down who, the, who is most likely to buy a home. It's generic to that area and that property. So uh, you can see that it's the income, age, uh, so that's your demographics, psychographics, so the tech savvy, family oriented, golfing, interests, pain points, desires. I mean, these pain points guys are gold. Turn these pain points into, uh, or use it as the basis for any of your social media marketing. Um, to a demographic that would be buying uh, this property. These are their pain points, balance, word, and life difference. So use them to like write the hooks for your different social media marketing. Um, there's your desires. Those are the three additional zip codes that are basically what we've defined as where buyers are coming from. So where the, what's the pool of potential buyers? And these are usually adjacent uh, or contiguous zip codes um, to where the property uh, in question is located. So this property is in Alamo. This is Danville, Lafayette, and San Ramon. I know that area. Those are that's that's very accurate. Um, <clears throat> then we give you the social media. So how to target, uh, what ad copy to use, and some keywords to make sure that you you use. So you can see that that's for all three: Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Um, and it gives you some ideas on other marketing channels. Uh, some buying behaviors, um, and then even into like some of the brands that this person would probably buy, right? So you can copy this right, right by clicking here. And now that is in your copy queue. You can paste it into Google Doc, whoever you want. And think about taking that to a listing uh, presentation and saying, Mr. Seller, let me show you what I think is gonna happen. And let me show you how I'm going to find a buyer for your home. Not, it's not just a, hey, I've got a reputation, I've done this for a while. You can use that plus, I'm also very tech savvy and I know exactly how to find buyers for your home in any market that there is. Now, <clears throat> to continue kind of on that listing presentation, you can also use a listing description, right? So we just go back and then go to listing description. So let's just use the same property. And it's gonna do the same thing. Well, on the left, it's gonna run it, basically give it the full refresh treatment. And then on the right, it's taking all of that information that even more than what we're displaying, then writing a nice description so that way it's accurate with the number of beds, baths, square feet, when it was built, remodeled, whatever it is, um, rather than you having to write all it all in the beginning. This is either just grab this and go, 
or you can use this as a basis for, you know, maybe wordsmithing it to kind of fit exactly how you want it to sound or position it or add some extra details. And I always recommend making sure that you read it before you just copy paste. Um, so <clears throat> with that, those are just some of the, you know, two of the four custom um, prompt templates we have. You can also then just do a chat of any of any length of anything you want to do. So you can see me do demos all the time where I come in here and showcase how to solve a problem or how to create mid-journey prompts or how to, how to, how to. Um, get, get one of our prompt playbooks. There's tons in there. Copy and paste them. We don't have enough room to stick them all in here, but we're going to start adding more and more in here so it's all right here. It's just push and play because uh, that's the feedback we've been getting. So that's, that's the one area where you can do it to any address, right? Or just to have a completely free chat. The other way is anytime that you see a property tile in, within the platform anywhere. Um, so in this case right here in the right, if you click on it, right? And this is also on your contacts and everywhere else. It's like kind of your detail panel for a property, right? Um, <clears throat> you see this as details. Just click marketing and then boom, what do you know? All of those prompt templates are there. Um, so that way you can quickly, you know, write a, I want to list this home email. Well, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to enter anything. All it does is takes again, all of the data around that property and the owners and the contacts and everything we have um, kind of in a knowledge base and writes a beautiful, I want to buy your home. Or I want to list your home, a listing description or buyer persona. Okay. So it is an extremely handy tool to have and you can literally do it from anywhere in the app, right? So if you go over to your contacts, if you don't have a bunch on your on your homepage, um, I mean, literally pick any contact that you want. Let's pick Douglas Williams. Okay, so here you go. All the information on them, didn't start with anything. We found some information. Okay, this doesn't have a whole lot on the, on the contact, but it would be the, exactly the same thing. I wanna buy your home. All right, so usually this is one outside. Oh, this guy has a little bit of a distress score, so that's not bad. I probably use that uh, whenever there's a higher distress score um, and a likely seller score. So, you know, here you go. Here's a beautifully written, usually he includes a quote. Um, yeah, Ralph Waldo Emerson, future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So, <clears throat> guys, we spent a lot of time building these out. Like, this is how to use. Um, the chat GPT integration to A, have a much more productive day, as well as reach out with well-written content and kind of gather collateral for listing presentations. When you go, you can go there with a, you know, you can write out, I want to list your home. Then you can print off whatever the listing description is. Um, we'll copy into a Google Doc. I think that's probably a good place. And then they do the same thing with the buyer persona for the property. And you'll see that um, the, the wow factor that you're going to bring to those presentations that today they just, I'm sure they've not seen anything like quite like this, or if they have, it's been very, very few, um, kind of early adopters of technology like this, but usually you have to sit there and write all of this additional data into it, which would just be mind numbing to say the least. So here, let's try Auburn somewhere else. Okay. Who do we get? Okay. Here's all the information. It's a VoIP wireless. Okay, Auburn, Washington. And so then marketing information. What are they? Oh, okay, a little bit distressed too. Uh, let's do uh, get a listing email. And then it takes about, I don't know, a couple seconds usually for it to complete its cycle and kind of write the, the final email for you. Um, from And then from here, you can just copy it and go. All right, so that is that is really what I wanted to show today. Um, I wanted to just to show how easy we made it so you can use or have a buyer persona built or a listing email or investor email, a listing description, or, or just use ChatGPT for whatever you want in the start of chat um, on any one of our prompt playbooks, either on any property that may or may not be a contact of yours um, or on any of your contacts um, with that side panel view under marketing. So details and marketing. So there you go. Here's here's person Auburn, Washington. You can see how different the actual description is. Uh, the buyer persona is adjacent count, uh, zip codes, keywords, 
that's what makes this so powerful. It's, it's not a template. Uh, and I'm sure you played with GPT a little bit at some point, but it takes a lot of work to get those uh, prompts to work right. And this just works. So thank you very much for your time today. And uh, remember, data has set the stage for where we are today. AI stealing the show. So get on board, start utilizing a platform like Likely, um, get our playbooks. You can use them anywhere you want. They're designed to help you steal the show with AI. Have a great afternoon.